You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV for 16 and Pregnant. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424 256 1729. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV 16 and Pregnant After Show. Okay, we're here. We're messy. And. Isabel said something about the dad on the show being hot, which we'll deal with later. I didn't even know she was going to say that. Anyway, hello, everybody. Uh, are we still, we, Bing is for doing, right? Ronnie Jr. Media, Bing is for doing, and we're doing another 16 and pregnant. You're binging and then you're doing. Bing, 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 bing. Yes, we bing, we are bing. See, I can't even say it now. Uh, oh, bing is for doing. Bing you is for doing. know we're that. Doing another episode 16 and pregnant. Uh, this is Devin. And what are those other names up there? Sarah, Sabrina, and Devin. What the? Oh, that's because we missed the show. Oh, yeah. Those are the other girls. We're going to talk about that, too. Anyway, uh, welcome, Isabel. Hi. Hi. Back. Yep, both of us right. back. Um, in case you guys are wondering what we're referring to, last week there is a missing show, which we're going to make up. We're committed to doing that. Uh, but actually, L.A. Traffic killed it. And mm. uh, I just... Couldn't even get here in decent time, and then the other show started, so we missed our spot, but we were going to make it up. Um, in, in any case, uh, we are here talking about Devin, and I have uh, I have all my notes on my <laughs> my little tablet here, which I'm, I'm happy about, that uh, Isabel was complaining about iPads not streaming the show. We'll, you know, I'll, I'll explain all the technical stuff to Isabel later, <laughs> but um, so what were you saying? Devin, who is our girl, her dad is hot. He was. I mean, I don't even remember seeing the dad. You saw the dad? Yes. Like when? He dropped her off first day. Oh, at school. You thought that was her man? No, that's no, her I dad. Didn't. See? Now I remember, See? but the dad was like, I, I wasn't looking at the dad saying, ooh, he's hot. But you must have looked at him and said, oh, I can see why he's not with the mom. Um, nope. Didn't, oh. even, didn't, didn't say that either. Didn't say it. Matter of fact, I don't even remember his face at all. Really, like. He's good looking. Question. Okay. When you're pregnant, does your, like, uh, you know how so many things change, Isabel? Like, uh, does your, does your, maybe, maybe this old man is not hot, but maybe you're just because you're pregnant. Maybe you're like, Whoa. Right, he wasn't old. Oh, okay. oh, he's a young dad. I mean, he looked young. Yeah, dude. But, I mean, but I'm you're just right. Wondering. It could no, be, you know it could what? Be it's a good look. It's a good point, dude. <laughs> Sorry. It could yeah. be hormones. Because so. now, look, now all of a sudden, when you get pregnant and you got, you know, then yeah, different stuff is attractive to her, right? Like if a dude got a working car, you know, like ooh, he's <laughs> he's hot. It's not. It had to be a nice car. It just has to be dependable. So all you guys you that try to hit on me before, hit on me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a small window of opportunity. All her standards Four are lower. Left. Four months left. In the looks category, <laughs> you just you just look stable and like you could pay for some stuff. You could buy a diaper. You're in. So that's like tips for dudes. Like you know, you you ain't getting no love. Go go oh, find you a pregnant find one. Find you a pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's called playing to your strengths. <laughs> See, that's what's called playing to your strengths. But anyway, um, so Devin, who, and actually, it was funny because, um, you know, each time we do a show, I'm wondering if Isabel is going to give me a hard time and say, mm -hmm. oh, and you think she's hot. You think she's hot. <laughs> and actually, a young guy who walked into the room I was watching the show in, yeah. uh, he, he looked at the screen, and Devin was on the screen. He said, oh, she's hot. How old is she? And I was thinking, well, she's 16, she's pregnant. <laughs> But if that's hot to you, go right ahead. Oh you know, God. and she has a man. But look, you know, don't 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 listen to me. No, but Devin mm -hmm. is, and I I got the idea that she was actually, I don't want to say more of a party girl than we even saw, but she was clearly a party girl. Like at one point, her friend said, "I don't even remember you ever missing a party. You were right. at all of them, right?" And she has lots of friends, you know. So this is a girl who wasn't, you know, an outcast. She was obviously popular, well-liked, fun, 
partied, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, and it's clear that based on what we saw with uh, her mom, that her mom was really permissive in some ways, you know, um, mm -hmm. which we'll, we'll talk about. But, um, and to her knowledge, to Devin's knowledge, apparently very mature for her age. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you ask her herself. Right. Yeah, yes. People <laughs> say she's extremely mature for her age. Yeah, and I'm thinking, who, the other 14 year olds are I was about hanging to say, around? Who are you asking who says that you're mature? Be like, the other girls saying, wow, she parties really well. Like, she's old. Yeah. Like, she's an old party. Like, she can stay out to three. Yeah. And oh her God. boyfriend can spend the night. She is so mature. <laughs> anyway, um, so so this, the scene is this, uh, Ronnie Jr. Media, the here, and I'm going to give you up front, I'm going to give you the thing, like that one where the dude got hit by the car and the 16 pregnant. The thing about this one was that they had eight people living in a little ass house. Okay. Okay. And this was impressive to see. Yo, they were making it work. Okay. Eight people in a little ass house. I mean, I don't know how many bedrooms this thing has, but do you remember they, I think the MTV intentionally took like outside shots of this house and showed it to and us it looked... several times because it looked like it could fit about three people. Yes. Okay. So very, very interesting that they had. So many people in this little ass house. Mask what uh, location? Like where? Where are uh, they do from? Do you remember? Vir Virginia? Richmond. Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Little house, you know, and then uh, one of those. Uh, it you know, it had to have a few rooms because she did have her own room, and so did the sister. You know. The other one that had the baby. The other one with the baby. The other teenager with the baby. Wait, how do they have their own rooms and there's like eight people in the house? That's what, why, six that's people why, in one room. That's and then, why I'm saying like. It must have been a house with minimum four rooms. That's the thing. We're we don't know. We're never um, we're never told. Yeah, we don't know. We don't. You know, we see different parts of the house, but they just they don't go into all the details. But like I said, if you know, if we know MTV like we think we do, they said eight people, and then they would go up, hey, out in the street <laughs> and show you a shot of the house, and it looks like a outhouse. It looks like it looks like it holds like two or three people. Uh -huh. um, but. The, you know, so here is, and oh, the other reason why she thinks she's mature is because she dates she dates a guy who's four years older than her. Right, who's in the army. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, yeah. why she's mature. That was huge. And and actually, I don't, you know, it, maybe it sounds like we're hating on Devin. I don't really, you know, like for the most part, she did uh, not have as yeah, many issues no, as these other girls. Uh, well, well, I mean, there's one big issue, which is her mom. Yeah. Okay. I so cannot. now we can talk about it. we can talk about that right now. <laughs> so. Uh, Devin is dating Colin. She's in yes. high school. She is obviously, I think, a junior in high school at this point, dating him and sneaking him in the house. Right. Right? Which I guess girls at that age do. Mm. Sneak him into the house. I don't know girls you've been hanging out with. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I just assume that that You know, I always think about that. I always hear girls sneaking guys in, and I always <laughs> think, how did they pull that off? Well, how did she pull it off with eight people in the little ass <laughs> house? That's why. They, that's what I want to know. They probably counted him as one of them. Like, oh, okay, that's just so Yeah, so. so, and actually, so you're right. So she had her own room before right. the, the, he moved. Right. So there's, he's sneaking her in. And then one day, the mom comes in the room, opens the door, and the dude is sleeping in the bed. Right. And then their mom's reaction is that is, okay, well, you know what? You can just stay. Yeah. Because I don't want her to get pregnant. I am now at this point. I'm completely lost. Okay, so what you what do you think about the mom? You know, she got one daughter who's got a well, baby. Who? Yeah, right. A teenage mom, right. single teenage mom already. Yes. yes. Um, my favorite scene with the mom was when they sit down and she says, "You know, it's a little embarrassing." And I'm thinking, <laughs> are you embarrassed as a mother? Because I mean, everybody's looking at you like, why are you even a mom? Uh, well, the the thing is, I didn't. Look, we saw when we heard that she let the kid move in, and I didn't understand. And part of the reason she said was because he wasn't getting along with his parents, right? Which I don't know. I mean, that's like but a flag, point, red flag by you're itself. A Twenty-one year old guy, yeah, who can twenty 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 one, 20, 20, yeah, go you know live elsewhere, yeah. Who in the right mind says, "Oh, it's so awful that I'm gonna allow you to move in and sleep in the same bed with my sixteen year old"? Yeah, that's what I don't get. I'm like. What? What? And then you say, you know, once one of my daughters was pregnant, I thought it, it won't happen again. Uh, well, I don't understand why, how it is, how letting the boyfriend right. move in helped prevent the pregnancy. That part I don't get. I, I think maybe she's operating on the idea like uh, with drinking, right? Like 
you know, because I've heard lots of kids or parents say that, hey, you know, if the parent makes a big deal and right. says you can't do it at all, they'll end up. Th yeah, because it's something like that's taboo and forbidden, the kid wants it more or right. whatever. So I think maybe the mom has that style of parenting. Like, you know what? I'm not going to really say no to anything. I'm just going to say whatever you do, be smart about it, you know? <laughs> and so apparently, according to what she told her friends, <clears throat> She got pregnant when she was switching from the pill to the Nuva Ring. To the Nuva Ring. Do you, how do what how did that happen? Well, do you can't be on the pill when you're taking the Nuva Ring? Is that it? Well, if you are on the pill and decide to switch to the Nuva Ring, which yes. is a total different type of birth control, right? It tells you to give yourself minimum minimum 30 days for your body to adjust and that's minimum you ah. still have to do the 90 days like every other pill got it so even if you were to like take pill and then start the ring yes. and then you still it, your body has to adjust right. and you there's a period where right. you can get pregnant if you are not taking any birth control and you decide to take the newer ring it is recommended to just you know back it up with the condom for a week because your body right away becomes See, familiar. See, this is the type of inside information that we give yes. on After Buzz TV. <laughs> did you hear, Ronnie Jr., did you just hear her break down how uh, birth control works? Well, the new ring I'm very familiar with. This so, is like a PSA we got going right here. So to me, it's kind of like you must have gone to a doctor who helped you switch to the new ring and explained to you, you know, you're switching from the pill to the new ring. Give yourself... 30 days for your body to get used to it. So please use condoms as a backup. And well, she just thought, whatever. Yeah. Uh, she took a chance. And then she said that she didn't know she was pregnant for five, five months. months. Five months. Okay. Wait a minute. And never explains anything else. So I'm hoping we're going to get a background as okay, to so, so how did you find so, out. Okay. Well, then, you know what? For our listeners, especially the young girls, the first thing that came to my mind was, okay, Period. Yes, you didn't have a period five months, but maybe the maybe birth control did. and the Nuva Ring right. affect that. Right. And so maybe she was just spotting. Okay. Do we know if the Nuva Ring does it like take away the period? No, it doesn't take away the period. Okay. It does not. Take does away birth the control period. take it away? Um, it doesn't take it away, but it I mean, becomes very minimal. I mean, it okay. can be spotting. It can be very light. So she could still have that and thought, oh, I'm fine. Okay. And then when you don't even consider being pregnant, you don't even think about your period. It's not like you're thinking, oh, I didn't get it this month, unless you're worried about something. So in this case, she obviously wasn't worried at all. And her friend just said, I just thought you were getting fat. <laughs> and I thought, what? that's a friend for you right there. I'm like, Say the truth, guys. I'm like, I wonder if she told her that before. Could you tell me that earlier? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, they were standing around like, what do you They were like, they were like, Totally shocked because, like, what are you going to do? You never missed a party. What are you going to yeah. do? You know, she's like, I don't know. You know, she's talking to her mom, and <clears throat> her mom is disappointed. That's when she said, you know, I think that's when she said it's kind of embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing, um, and, and I'm thinking, girl. Yeah. You are getting what you asked for. Yeah, it's. And if anything, you need to, and if you have any younger daughters, and I think there's one more left. Uh, no, no, no. The girl with the dark hair is related to them. And that's one of the daughters. You know, I was a little bit confused about She's all the people also, that were talking right. to her. I was thinking, is that no, the friend that or the one's sister? That sister. She has two sisters. She but has the, the one with the baby. She's the, she's the youngest, but there's an older sister. Oh, maybe she was older. Yeah, yeah, because I remember the mom said to Devin, I said, well, you were spoiled because you're the baby. Right. So she was the well, youngest. Well, I'm glad, whatever the case, I'm glad that the daughter's older. Because if not, this mom needs to go back to parenting classes. I, her yeah. method has not worked, and I cannot believe yeah, anybody would think, oh, m letting a boyfriend move in with the 17-year-old is okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't get <sighs> that. I don't I don't get There's it. There's so many mean things And I, I mean, on top say. of that, so, you know, like you don't have enough people in your house already. Oh, well, you know what? He, you know what? He already slept here. You already snuck him in. Just let him live. <laughs> he can just stay. He can take that corner in your room. Oh, he had an argument with the parents? He lives here now. <laughs> right. Hey, I'm, I'm like... <sighs> And we never get to see his parents. We don't get to find out about his family. The only thing we know about him is he is working two jobs. He's working a warehouse, warehouse job, job and, and Army Reserve. Army Reserve. Right, right. Which, you know, we honestly, um, we didn't really see anything bad from no. this guy. We didn't really no. see anything bad from this guy. And they, you know, we'll talk about it, but they were experienced the full load of distress. I mean, I got to say... He seemed, I don't know, he was kind of a quiet, good baby mm -hmm. daddy.
but he definitely is one of the best mm -hmm. baby daddies that mm -hmm. we saw. Um, but okay, so the mom says, you know what? She's like really mellow, really calm, and she's just like, you know what? I'll help in any way I can, but I'm not going to raise this child. And, and she burst out into yeah, tears. Yeah, that's when we see Devin start crying, and the reality of it is starting to get heavier and heavier to her. Well, I definitely think that the reality came the minute she found out she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the girls that we've come across that really, really did not want to be pregnant and disliked it the whole time. Yeah. It's like any time there was a camera with her alone, she was in tears. Like, I'm going to miss out on so much. Like, she yeah. knew right away. And yeah. maybe it was because she had a, six, a sister who was, you know, a single yeah. parent and a teenage mom. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was that or she really understood what this meant. Because, you know, in the future, all these 16-year-olds talk about it's going to be hard, but they don't realize that they're a little excited about it. She yep. was never excited about bringing the baby home. Well, she said a couple of, she said a couple of really good things. And that was like, she was just really glad that she wasn't going to be doing it alone. She was like, right. I'm really glad that I've got you talking to her sister right. and my mom and stuff. And I think that that does a big help. That's huge. Um, when, you know, you have to buy stuff, and you're not alone, and you can have someone help you and do all stuff. Right. And speaking of buying stuff, uh. Uh, things that you need for a baby, I got applause for that transition right there. Uh, you guys <laughs> may, or, you guys may or may not know if you've been listening to AfterBuzz, you know that Af AfterBuzz has, uh, has a little partnership with Amazon, and that mm -hmm. is a way to help fund the things that we've got going on here because it's all volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, they're your host that you uh, follow and tune into every week. Do not get paid. And uh, After Buzz is, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like a, I'm not a charity, but it's definitely something that we do because we love shows. We love talking about the TV shows. And we're fans uh, just like you guys are. Um, <clears throat> so what you can do to help support, and it can be something totally free for you, is when you buy things at Amazon, and I buy things at Amazon all the time, instead of just going to Amazon directly and making your purchase, you instead go make a quick stop at AfterBuzzTV.com. You on the very first page on the home page, you'll see an after uh, an Amazon banner, mm -hmm. uh, rectangular banner in the upper right portion of the screen. When you click on that banner, it'll take you to Amazon. You can proceed, sign in, make your purchases. I actually did it the other day. I had to purchase. I wasn't even purchasing something for me. I was purchasing something for somebody else. And I I remembered to click on the banner to get. And then a portion of the proceeds that you know the money that's transacted goes to AfterBuzz. Doesn't make your your purchase costs more. It's like I said, no cost to you except for that little bit of time to go and click on that. So um, it would be very much appreciated if you do that. And also what we also appreciate, and I actually appreciate any sort of comments, but good or bad, um, we have, you know, all our shows are on iTunes, all of our shows are on YouTube, uh, and we look for fans to comment and rate us in both of those places. So if you guys can remember to do that, if you're a fan, if you watch a show, um, we'll go and we'll read them and, and we'll see them. And then, you know, maybe we'll respond and in open dialogue um, and we'll give you our Twitter handles at the end of the show, too. You can you can communicate with us directly like that. But for you can help us through Amazon. You can help us with iTunes reviews and ratings. You can help us with YouTube reviews and ratings. That can be your job. That can be your participation in this whole After Buzz TV family that we have going so much appreciated, and and we'll move on with more of Devin. So she goes back to school, mm -hmm. and she goes back to school and with a big old belly, <laughs> and nobody knows. I, you know what? This one, when she was describing this, I was thinking, okay, that's tough. She, because high school teenagers, correct me if I'm wrong, they are mean. It's okay. Just wear a sign. My mom's a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> and then you I know. think you were, you, you planned to say that one. Oh my god. I am so upset at this mom, but I'm trying to just <laughs> Okay, Isabel, I have a question for you. If you oh, could shit. tell the mom something, what would you tell her? Now that it's been done, now that it's done. You got one more daughter, but what would you tell her right now? I wait, what? What like she's got one more daughter. Right. Right? Like you got advice for the mom? Oh, you know? I don't have nice advice. I mean, the only thing I wrote was when she said, you know, this is embarrassing. I was like, bitch, you moved him in. <laughs> embarrassing to be a mom and think like you. Like, that's embarrassing. Yeah, okay. I figured it was going to be something like that. There's no nice advice for this mom. Oh, you know, we're goodness. not dealing with... And, and what surprises me 
is, you know, she says mom and dad are still good friends. Yeah. So at some point when the dad showed up and visit, he wasn't like. I'm. <laughs> yeah. At what point did the dad find out that the boyfriend moved Maybe in? Maybe once she was pregnant. Because I, I have a feeling it was kind of like dad was coming over and they were like, don't say anything. Let's keep it a secret. You know, maybe they kept it from him. You know, maybe I don't know. He said she said he stays when he's in town. So who knows what that means? Right. Maybe because there's some dads that, okay, the mom is obviously very laid back. Yeah. You know, she's very permissive, mm -hmm. and maybe the dad is that way too. You know, who knows? Right. Uh, we don't know. We didn't hear. But he he obviously you know they love their kids. You know, yeah. we see that. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, when we hear, you know, we know that both. Well, not both. Colin is really insisting on moving out. Right, right. They're, they, she, she goes to school. <clears throat> he goes on some kind of five-day reserve trip to the Army. So, and then, you know, she, he comes back. And he's actually coming back, to, and he's frustrated because it's so crowded. Yeah. You know, they're, they've got a few baby things collected, and they're trying to, you know, when he comes, remember, he has to put his, yeah. his, his whatever, his uh, Army bag he's in the closet. Back. He has to move stuff out of the way to open the door. Then he has to put it on top of a bunch of stuff. And she says, you're crushing all my yeah. stuff. And then he has to close the door and then put yeah. all the baby stuff yeah, back and stack it. And to and, stack in front yeah. of the door. And, you know, he, you could see on his face the frustration. The frustration. He's, and he's like, you know what? I, we need to go. And I want to move out. And he wants to move out. But at the same time, he didn't have, I don't think he, did he have the warehouse job then? He did. He did? He did. But, you know, this is where she actually stood out. And, yeah. and, you know, I like what she said. You know, she just kept saying, well, that's fine. We can move out, but we don't even have the money yeah. to do it. So, it's like, okay, you want to move out? Can you not, afford you it? Know, and he's still going off. I just want to make sure that I have. It's just like, okay, when we <laughs> get there, we'll deal with it. Yeah, like, exactly. But for right now, yeah, for right now, now, we don't have it. So, you know. Yeah, and she mentions, you know, it's free. It's a free place to stay. We don't have to stress about that. <laughs> I loved it when she said that. She said, well, she, he's like, what do you want to do? He said, she said, I want to stay here because it's free. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, are you like exactly. That's a really good reason. That's, you know, that's my price range. Right. <laughs> free 99. I'll take that. 990 <laughs> free, however you want to say it. Um, but, you know, so he's still on the whole house thing and or wanting to move out. But what I was thinking was, you know, he wants to move out. He wants to rent a place. Uh -uh. No. This dude jumped straight to buying. He's like, I'm buying a house. And he's looking at a house ad that says $225,000. i am like, what? <laughs> at that point, I'm thinking, how in the world are they even considering buying a house? And here we go again. Why were you not able to move out on your own? Yeah. Dude, you, <laughs> you moved into a room with your girlfriend before she yes, was pregnant. Because, you know, mom and dad didn't like you or... Yeah, maybe he liked it because it was free. <laughs> maybe he liked because lots of stuff is free in that house. I get to go in that house. I get to eat for free. I get to mm -mm, something for else free. for free. I get to live for free. This is a free <laughs> house. Dead. I like this. They're free in this one. No, but so they go and they talk to mom and says, uh, hey, Mom, we want to talk to you, see what you think about this. And she's like, what? Well, he wants to buy a house. <laughs> and she's like, well, you know, if you buy a house, you have to be able to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, the daughter's like, I know. So mom said, like, so how are you going to pay for it? She's like, we don't know. <laughs> and But listen, then, uh, no, and, and I'm saying all this because that's what I was feeling at the time. And I'm thinking, you are crazy. To the, I'm thinking to, to, Ka, to Colin. You're crazy, dude. Yeah. You're an Army Reserve 20-year-old warehouse worker. You can buy a house. <laughs> and then he's, but he's sitting there and he's saying, I've got to go figure it out and see what I can afford. Right. I'm going to talk to the Army people. I'm going to talk to this. This dude goes and, well, before we even get there, um, uh, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. I First of all, the mom, I thought, was really cool talking, right? You know, she didn't get excited about it. Do we yeah. ever see her get excited about yeah. anything? No. She never got mad, excited about it. She's laid back. Yeah, it's cool. You know, you got to pay for it. But yeah. okay, well, you know, good Bye. luck with that. <laughs> you know? And so then they they throw a baby shower and give them more stuff, okay, for the room. And then I remember her, she's talking to her girlfriends, and they were like, are you going to have a natural birth? And she was like, hell no, I don't even like a paper cut, right? <clears throat> and, uh... And this, you know, things are setting in for her. Now, for Kai, for Colin, it's all about, you know, getting out of the house. Right. You know, He's set on that. For her, she's struggling with the fact that she's missing all stuff. Then homecoming comes. 
Now, can you please tell me, because when I first saw the sister, she said, okay, put your dress on, come in the room. Because that was her sister, right? Right. Not her friend. No, 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 that's her friend. Are you sure that wasn't? She went over to a friend's house to help her get dressed. Okay. And she was all depressed that she wasn't going to uh, homecoming, right. blah, blah, blah. And she could have went. She just didn't want to go, have people stare, right. and, you know. Nothing fits. Um, right. She could have gone. But then her friend comes out in this dress. Oh. Now, I don't Ed. know anything about fashion. Ed, we're talking about a rich man here. Richmond, Virginia. Oh, okay, I, so I don't want to say anything. No, I, yeah, didn't, I didn't mean that. Yeah, take it back. What I, I take it. There'll be an official recount p- printed in the the After Buzz newsletter. She, she, she does love her Richmond uh, <laughs> iTunes following. We love the Richmond I iTuners. Do. And to that, I wanted to say thank you to the iTuners who continue to rate and comment the Very shows. Much. And and, and they, they, they take the information that we give and they don't get too angry. Richmond doesn't get too excited when we say <laughs> stuff like that. Um, but I also wanted to let you two know about Gamefly.com and if you want the 15-day free trial, super simple. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. The thing is, you know, Ed, I'm sitting here and we get all these offers, so I just kind of want to spread this to our fans no this is a good one because uh, i actually need to get back on gamefly so go ahead i'm listening for details well make- it's super simple i mean like like i'm saying it's uh for the wii it's for xbox xbox it's pretty much for anything that you're gonna play I, there's um, pc games on there too all kinds of stuff eight thousand of them i mean netflix uh you know for the video game world is basically what gamefly is but again if you want the 15 day free trial i'm telling you gamefly.com slash after tv and that's how you get it really there's nothing to it but to go on that website but do the slash after Buzz TV that way uh, you get hooked up. Right, right. We, we, you know, and I gotta, I gotta actually say something. You know, uh, GameFly should be pissed off. People calling it the Netflix of video game. Not, why? It, it, why? Isn't that a great description? You know no, it is a great description in the sense that it, it communicates what it is. But GameFly was there before Netflix, dude. Oh, right. GameFly had been the game. Oh, so the, the brand like over yeah, like GameFly like, is the OG <laughs> yeah. of this whole style of doing stuff. And so they were before. But you know, and I say that just to be funny. But it, you know. In case people don't know, GameFly.com, G-A-M-E-F-L-Y.com, the way it works or what you get is you get to pay a small monthly fee and then you get to basically, uh, for lack of a better word, rent or borrow as many games as you can you know, get in the mail and you, know, you, you, have, you can have different levels of, of subscription. You can have one game, two game, whatever out at a time and then when you send you know you have your queue of games you want to play and when you send one back they send you the next one so if you're familiar with netflix it works just like that uh but it's also an opportunity for you to give back to after buzz and do a free so now, we, we know two things about ed that yeah. he loves the video yeah. games and that he loves 16 and pregnant all right we're learning yeah. more about you ed yes ed bowling man so the, so if <laughs> they go if they oh. if they <laughs> Did you just say something about me like a 16-year-old? Well, what she you said. know, I am surprised that you were the one that focused on what this little girl was wearing to her dance. Look, I didn't say I anything about, about it being I was about sexy to say or anything. Ed, she is 16. I didn't mean to say she's in Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> she is 16. Okay. Well, but 16, look. You, you expected this, like, bombshell woman with... No, I didn't expect bombshell woman, but you know, and I'm sorry to Devin's friend, and but it's I not thought a prom either. But look, did you see the dress? <laughs> I did. She's sick. Um, and I actually was, you know, I had a reaction to the dress in my mind, but that's why I came to ask you. I'm like, was that or was that not an ugly dress? <laughs> and you know what? And it doesn't matter if she liked it. Then but I, you know what? It. I think it was her body shape. That oh you are very, no! Yes, I wasn't looking at yes, the body. Yes. And, oh no! Because no, if no. she had boobies, you'd no, be like, "Oh, that no, was hot." No, I wouldn't have said nothing like that. <laughs> I was looking Ever. at the dress, <laughs> and that is the triple truth. <laughs> express here in, or those are the hosts. Of the host <laughs> only <laughs> that <laughs> host, <laughs> not this one. No, whatever. <laughs> I got my own opinion, but anyway, since I can't even comment on a six-year-old dress i gotta move <laughs> no. on to the next topic no don't try to fix it you ruined it no. you almost ruined it for all of richmond and now you at least ruined me uh you do that by yourself you know i'm gonna sue for defamation of character <laughs> making <laughs> saying stuff anyway so now uh devin poor devin it's just so rough for her at school she decides you know i'm not gonna go back which right. they don't say directly she just all of a sudden she's working on her ged right you know and i noticed i guess well i guess that means no more high school <laughs> Because you don't do both. No. Um, but I did feel bad because her first day of school was tough. And then she, you know, I don't know how you fix that. Because kids, I think, they are immature. And they're going to be in corners staring and whispering. And she probably, you know, I don't even know 
like the type like she was well liked it seems like and she had a lot of friends mm -hmm. but maybe she was a gossiper maybe that means you know that she knows what all the other people are saying and how right. mean they can be and so you know the whole thing was just too much on her mentally mm -hmm. i i just i really felt bad about that part for her that experience for her for some reason <clears throat> but you know kyle is struggling because he wants to get a house he's trying to figure out how to make more money and okay I'm sorry. His name was Colin, but Colin, she kept yeah. calling him Kyle. Okay, right? So, well, right? that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. I keep saying Do Kyle because that's what I heard. Yes. And I'm keep having to correct myself. If it myself. wasn't because MTV, they but... were... <laughs> thank you. Yes. It wasn't until three quarters of the way through the because show. Because I crossed about Ky off Kyle on my notes after. MTV. I have Kyle all through here. I crossed it off at the top. I changed it from Kyle to Colin. And when they first opened the show, he said my boyfriend <laughs> Kyle, and I'm like, oh, Kyle, okay. I thought his name, but yeah. Later, it said Colin when she was. When he was sleeping, uh, maybe he, they switched him. You know, I don't sneaking know. in it's another a different boyfriend. Dude. And we just maybe don't know. he was just playing the part of Kyle. Uh, anyway, you know what? I feel good. We we agree on yeah. something for once. There was confusion <laughs> about the guy's name. We all thought it was Kyle the whole show, and we she was trying to whisper and wake him up, and we got the subtitle that said Colin, <laughs> and it was a different name. And we we're like, how did you switch baby daddies? And we didn't even see. Does he have a twin brother? Uh, so I'm anyway, eight people. Yeah. So anyway, uh, there's uh, no. Oh, so that's when I was gonna say Kyle again. Colin is like talking to her about look how we're gonna make more money, and she doesn't want him to re-enlist because she doesn't want him to be. You know, she doesn't want to be an army wife. She doesn't want right. to have him gone Worrying all the time, and leaving. she doesn't want him to. You know, she doesn't want him to re-enlist. And I'm trying to see. Oh yeah. So. And then, well, not yet. We find out that they get approved for this house. Oh, did I even? No, you missed that whole part. He is so stuck on buying a house. He actually goes all the way to me with the realtor and find out what he and her qualify for. And we find out that they are pre-approved for maybe not the two hundred and thirty. The two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars house he was looking at. Was no, they were they were pre-approved for one hundred. Oh, one hundred and twenty-five thousand. I did write that down. I just right. have it out of order for some reason. So <clears throat> they both want to Which move, so they start. 100000 less, but, you know, you can work with that. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, God, oh, my God, I was going to say in Richmond, and I said it but without saying true. it. But it's true. No, no, it's true. It's yeah, cheap. they found a house 1,500 square feet. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I don't understand. They sat down at the table with the realtor and the, the two realtors, okay? Right. And they say, hey, good news. You're pre-approved for $125,000. This is great. We can go start house Just shopping. I'm don't excited. Don't spend any money. Yeah. So, oh, no. He told him, he said, don't change jobs. And don't spend any don't money. Don't spend any money. Okay. Just, you know, keep your job. Everything's cool. Got good credit. Got a job. We're going to make it work. Then the first house he takes him to, 1,500 square feet, which is small. No big deal. It's just them and the baby. Right. And they, he takes them all through it. And like, this is perfect. This, this is, is great. Huge. This is cool. I like it. This is exactly what we're looking for. And then she says, so how much is this one? He says, oh, you can't afford this one. It's 130. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what kind of real estate agent are you? What are you doing? Just thought you, you should, look, you should yeah. see what you can't have. Just see, I just thought you should see <laughs> what you can't have. I did not understand that at all. He said, you can't afford this. Well, maybe he was it's like, above your maybe price he rate. was like, okay, now you need to start working if you want to get this. No, there is no way in the world. They're pre-approved for 125. <laughs> He knows they, you know, anyway, that to me was just horrible. It was just bad real estate person. He's like, call and get a third job. Okay. I don't even know why he showed it to him. So, but they said, one thing they one of the things they said was, don't, don't change jobs. And poor Colin. It's like they changed him. Uh, poor Colin comes home and you see it on his face. I knew it before he even said it. She said, how was your day at work? He said, not too good. I'm thinking, oh, my God, he got laid off. Oh, my God, he got laid off. Oh, my God, he got fired. He lost his job. Yeah. And then he said it. I was just like, ugh. I got laid because off. Because he was so, they were so happy when they mm -hmm. said pre-approved. And they saw the house. They were so happy. They were like, yes, we can and do it. And this is where the kid in her comes out. You just see, like, this toddler. Well, tell me what you, what do you mean? Tell me what you mean. I mean, her face. I forgot how old she was. It was yeah. just like seeing this four-year-old, five-year-old. When you take a candy from them, you're like, you can't have that anymore. Yeah. She just went quiet. It was yeah. like no emotion, just sad. It was so sad. Well, and then, see, then what I saw, or I thought I saw, and I changed my mind after when I really thought about it, it seemed like she was like being supportive. 
right? She, yeah, yeah. You know, see, I, I forget what she said exactly. No, I, 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 no, she was because he says, I feel like I'm failing. And she says, no, you're not. You, you're you trying. You're doing yeah. the best and he you said, can. And he said, this was, uh, this was my biggest fear when, before was, you know. Um, oh, the baby was already born at this point. We yes. skipped that. Um, but what what she said was, which in the beginning I thought was supportive, but then I was like, you know, I didn't really like that. She said, well, everybody, everybody, nobody wants to lose their job, Colin. And I'm thinking, well, that's kind of messed up. He just said that I didn't want to lose my job. I feel bad. And she's like, well, of course you feel bad. Nobody wants to lose their job. I'm like, you know, I, in the beginning I thought she was all supportive, but then I didn't like it so much. But how, how cute was it that he oh, leans into his son and he says, I'm sorry to his son. Yeah. I mean, that's when I realized, okay, this dude is a, this is, this is, you know, a young man, but a man. Mm -hmm. you know, who's taking his responsibility very seriously. Mm -hmm. And I could just see it on his face, The you know, his, his like, whatever it was he was feeling, you could just see it. It was strong. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, he was feeling really bad. But <clears throat> to go back to the part we skipped, um, a funny, another funny thing that happened that she said was when she woke up in the middle of the night, you know, with the contractions. <laughs> and then she... <laughs> And he that's when he was asking stupid questions. He's like, does it hurt? <laughs> he kept saying that. Like, she's in the bed screaming. And, she, and he's like, so, did it hurt? Yeah, I mean, the second time I wanted to reply for her and be like, what do you think? <laughs> exactly. So you saw that, too. He was like, does it hurt? I'm like, dude, what, what are you asking? asking. Is asking. it because you think maybe she's going to say no this time? Like, no, actually, it feels great right now. <clears throat> but no, she said the funny line, one of the funniest ones. I think he, he asked another stupid question, him or the mom. And they're getting in the car to go to the hospital and says something like, so are you, are you, ready? Are you ready? And she says, I quote it exactly. She says, ready as I'll ever be to push a baby out of my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That basically oh. means, no, I'm not ready and I'll never be ready. So, but, so I'm as ready as I'm going to be, you right. know, might as well. going to happen God. anyway. I just got to go push a baby out. Um, and then, you know, this one, I didn't want to laugh. But it was kind of funny. Like it starts out, and they're all smiling and they're joking in the beginning of the labor. It's like right. a couple hours in labor, and he says, "What Three. did he say? Do you remember what he said? He said something funny. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot. He said something funny, and she oh, laughed. Oh, he said, "There's, there's, uh, I can see you're about two sheets away yeah. until you hit a Yeah, he said something all official based on my calculations of the paper. You're two sheets away from the camera, and she's like, "Ha ha ha!" Mm, and they're you're laughing. An idiot. Right. And that was like two hours in. Right. And then <laughs> Nine then you get to like six hours and she's like shaking, shaking. You know, she's not crying yet, but no. she's shaking into you. And he's like, does it hurt? And she's like, you know, she's shaking, dude. And then <laughs> nine hours in now she's crying mm -hmm. and she decides, OK, give me the drugs. You know, so she gets the epidural. And then it's finally 12 hours into labor. She's I, pushing. I mean, to, is that a long labor? I don't even remember anymore. Uh 12 hours? Boy, an hour is an hour. Okay, never mind. That was a dumb for... question. Did it hurt? Yeah. No, that's dumb. No, so 12 hours into labor, it's time to push. And then this lily white baby comes mm -hmm. out. I mean, this baby had no pigmentation at all. Looked like the dad, only lighter. Okay, and I was thinking, man, you're going to have to sunblock that mm -hmm. baby from the, ho the lights in the hospital. Yeah. That baby was fair skin. Um, and came out looking like, well, all babies sort of look like old men, mm -hmm. but it looked like an old man to me. And it well, it like, looks you know. like somebody punched him. He was so yeah. red in his face. That was I it. was like, what happened? Yeah, the fair skin and the whole redness. And the, yeah, the, the, I was like, who hit him? Yeah, he had this like, yeah, this like, uh, what's that? What's that? Sharpe? Like the dog with the wrinkled skin, the rolls of skin, the, you know. Um, and then later, you know, he fattened up and he's looking yeah. all healthy. But <clears throat> you know, two days in the hospital and then they go home. And then, man, it starts. The, the sleepless nights, you know, for her in this case, because he was able to apparently sleep through her calling his name yeah. and everything else. But, Kyle. Um, Maybe yeah. that's why he never replied. <laughs> because she, she was, was calling, calling the wrong Kyle. name. <laughs> it's like he was like, look, Colin. look, woman, I'm, I'm sick of you calling me somebody else's name. I don't know who Kyle is. Colin. But I'm just not going to answer you until you get my name right. <laughs> no, but... Um, you know, she, sleepless nights are setting in, and then they did say, I, I noticed something important or important to me, because the one thing that nobody really explained to me about when you had a baby, when I had a baby, was the fact that you, you, you lose sleep. 
and the, the way it makes you feel, the way your body, uh, you know, is affected by the lo lack of sleep, it's just, it's really kind of crazy. I mean, you know, you go through your days, you know, sort of in a, in a daze, you know, it's just, it's just totally different. But, and sleep was the, one of the main things, but the worst part of, and, and this, I guess, is something that I'll, you know, for any new moms or ex mm -hmm. people, the worst part, the worst experience I had with uh, a baby, the, the toughest thing was when the baby had gas. And uh, the reason why is because, uh, in, in my experience, my two sons, when they had gas from whatever they ate or whatever it was, it was extremely painful for them. Right. And you cannot always get the gas out mm -hmm. right away. And so you have to be there with a baby that's in pain and you can't fix it. Right. And they will scream and they will shake because it hurts them and they can't tell you. So it's actually something that you still don't even really know if that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes they'll release it and then it'll be like, okay, the baby's okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they'll burp or mm -hmm. other way. But, and, and I'm only saying this because there was a moment where <laughs> he was crying and then she was like, do you have gas? And then he, he farted in her face and she was like, and then, yeah. And then the baby was like, oh. ah, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's just, that is serious okay. stuff. And so, you know, you gotta, you gotta, like for anybody who's gonna have a baby, you actually have to pay really close attention to what you feed the baby. <laughs> you need to have the little gas sex. There's droplets you can buy, you know, get the doctor to tell you it's okay. But there's little stuff you can do to put in the baby's milk or in their mouth, little droplets to take, because you're taking pain away from your child when you do this. It's a big deal. It is a big deal for them. You don't even, <clears throat> if you can avoid it forever, avoid it. Um, but it's getting difficult for them. Or, yeah. you know, mostly for her, uh, it's, difficult for him because you know he's got the weight on his shoulders of <clears throat> uh, see at this point okay this is before he got laid off so he was taking more shifts at the warehouse and he was Less working more high. and he was still he's still in the army reserve you know he's doing anything he can and that means he's not there mm -hmm. at the, with her as much she's got more time with the baby she's getting cabin fever okay she's like it's cramped it's crowded and now you know, it's starting to affect her. Now she's like, look, we got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's remember, she complained like three times about having to clean up after other people. Right. 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 So that just means that she wanted to go, you know, get a clean dish. And there wasn't one. She had to clean it because other people had dirtied right. them and they didn't do the dishes right. yet. And which, by the way, eight people. That's a lot of dishes. And you did see the note on the refrigerator. Please what help keep this the kitchen clean. Who wrote it? Did she write it? I, I don't know who wrote it. It was just on the refrigerator to remind all eight of them, can somebody help? Yeah, because if you... Yeah, and you know what? There's kids in the house. How many bathrooms did they have? Eight well, people. I think they had like two because Kyle Collin was <clears> knocking <throat> on the bathroom door asking like, how long are you going to be there? Who knows who was in there? And oh, then man. like, oh, it's going to be a while. He's like, okay, I'll just try downstairs. Yeah, I'll try the one other bathroom. Let me see. You know what? For all my all my you know, complaining about them having eight people, you know, I it seemed like they make it work. Right. You know, you know, I I don't mind being around a lot of people in a house. I don't mind that. Oh, I like a house with a lot of people, a lot of life and love and happiness and all this stuff. But um, you know, I also don't like waiting for the bathroom when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's what you worry about. Yeah, it was free. So <clears throat> anyway, so we can get back to where we're in the order. Um, yep. You know, his biggest he fear. Laid off. Yeah, he gets laid off. Biggest fear. She's a little bit supportive, sort of. You know, he says sorry to his son. And then two weeks at least, he's hunting for jobs. Okay, he's got no job. And he's just frustrated. Now, remember they showed him sitting on the couch with his laptop. Like he's been mm -hmm. looking for two and the baby was there. But she wasn't there. Mm -hmm. What was she doing? Probably um, working on her GED. Don't forget, she's still taking those classes at the time. And she says it's getting harder. Um, the sister's helping a little. The mom's helping a little. But it, she's like, I still don't have enough time. Yeah. Well, so, you know, two weeks goes by. He's looking for a job. And what I thought was funny, or I didn't realize, that they didn't tell the real estate agent. Because I would have been like, okay, right. you got to tell him first. Yeah, right away. Call because him. Because you lost your job. And that's one of the two things that he said don't do. I was just like, why would you go meet him? Yeah, now you're going to meet him. What are you meeting Who's him for? like, anyway, so are you guys ready to sign the paper? Yeah, are you ready to, like, make an offer? 
and he's and they look at each other smile like well and she said and he just can't say it yeah you know and i get the feeling that he's a little bit prideful and whatnot oh but, extremely yes but what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down what happened after that right after we go to commercial because there's a couple more things to talk about and ronnie jr media you can take us to commercial now hey guys what's happening we are the america's best dance crew abdc after show coming to you guys we watch the show every week just like you, and we go every Friday to the set to interview and talk to the crews behind the scenes and let you know what is happening behind the scenes. Hey everybody, we are After Buzz Mob Wives Edition, the only Mob Wives after show out there. I'm your host, Adrian Vera, with my lovely co-host. Kevin Undegaro. Grant Rudder. Cameron Morrison. You guys can check us out every week. We have a lot of fun. We drink wine. We talk about the show. So check us out. We're also doing the Big Ann show. So tune into that and Mob Lives Chicago. Hey guys, what's happening? We are the Game of Thrones After Buzz crew. I'm Dave Klein. Bethany Jaber. Kristen Elizabeth Snyder. Simone Boyce. And we come to you every single week live Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific time for we are kings of the Game of Thrones after show. And we have one thing to say. Oh shadow baby, oh shadow baby, oh shadow baby. After Buzz TV, what do you want to buzz about? Okay, and we're back. Um, so before we go into, uh, oh man, we don't. I don't think we have any real good news and gossip this time. Um, should, are we allowed to announce what we expect uh, in oh. June? Are we allowed to? Maybe that'll be. Know. You know what? We'll call it gossip. We'll call it gossip, but then we can say whatever we want, and then later we'll blame it on Ronnie Junior Media and say he told us it was okay. Right. Nope, like nope, that. Mm -mm, not, not. Me. Yeah, you hear that? No, he just no, said yes. No, I said no. He said yep, yep, that, that sounds yep, like yep. no. Doesn't sound like yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard him say yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so, um, so here's what what I thought was interesting. So they go to meet for meet with the real estate guy, right? To, and then he's like, "You ready to make an offer on the house?" And he said, "Actually, he lost his job." And then he's like, "Well, if you don't have a job," can't buy a house <laughs> and I'm like it makes sense you know that's cool and everything and he said and so then they start talking more hopeful right and he saw but I am looking for a job and he's and then <laughs> Kyle Collin looks at him he goes so I need to I need to have a job for two months before I can buy a house right and the guy's like yep two months and I'm going Richmond Virginia oh. is the place to be oh. okay you have to you only Ronnie Jr. media do you want to buy a house one day uh yeah i mean i need to well, make a little more money little, but no yeah. you don't no you <laughs> don't no, no. In oh, as uh, little, oh i have to move to richmond you just in as little as two months <laughs> you can have a house of your own in richmond though in <laughs> richmond Virginia. i mean i love I, Marty, what do you have against richmond i love the richmond see, really, iTuners. See, see? yeah it's not isabel it's ronnie jr media <laughs> telling us to sell to say gossip and hating on richmond it's crazy what happens in the booth over there <laughs> Uh, and remember, I'm not wearing any pants, so there's that <laughs> issue too. Okay, that was a little too much information. <laughs> um, but so anyway, so they're like, he's like looking for a job that he can have for at least two months that we can buy the house real quick before he gets laid off again, <laughs> and then it's really hard to get you out of the house. Uh, no, I'm just playing. Uh, but he's so he's wondering, you know, thinking about going to fire. Right. <laughs> he says, I'm thinking. He tells her. And this is a little bit of tension, right? Yes, when they yes. it's like a fight almost. But you know, I, I I was okay with this. It was okay. They, they needed it. This is nothing. It's this, like you they gotta, did, girl, you, know, you gotta let out. Yeah, you gotta do it. Let it so out. he's like, Well, I was thinking about going to uh, you know, be a fireman. I have to go to school for that first. Yeah. And she said, Can you buy a house when you're going to school? <laughs> he said, Nope. She said, Then I don't want you to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> it was very like right, you know, you I'm not saying no to, to you. She I'm said, just then I'd rather you get a job. You, you know. And he said, then he said, well, I could go to school and have a job, and then we could buy the house. She said, but then and you won't then be here. You won't be here. And I need you here. Yeah. So no school, get a job. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then he said the first negative thing I guess we've heard from him. He's like, oh, maybe he said this before on the porch. Like I meant to say it earlier. Then he goes something like. Yeah, well, I'm I'm older than you, and I don't really have the need to stay at home with mommy anymore. I think he said that earlier when they were talking about moving out, and he was, mm -hmm. you know, it was big for him. But now she's all on board with moving, and she's like, "No, I don't even want you to do a better career if it means we can't have our house right now. We got to get out of here, okay?" And, and then, and, and we <clears throat> also hear him finally say something like, "You know." Uh, I'm not pushing you yeah. to make up your mind about whatever you want to do. So yeah. 
you know, but it's frustrations. Like he's like, dude, I am doing everything I yes. can right now, and here you are, like, uh, get a job and let's go. Oh my goodness, so rough. They have such adult thing. Okay, but let's move into uh, news and gossip. Let's go. What's your I'm going to say it because Ronnie Jr. Well, said I can't There work. is one thing we can say, which we probably said every other week. What's but up? this week, Amber, our Amber. old um, 16 and pregnant and then teen mom from our original yes, um, yes, said, yes, yes, yes. is out of jail this week. So let's wait oh. next week if she goes back. You know, she's been going in and out. <sighs> but go Amber. She's out for this Amber. week. For today. Amber. Wow. Yeah. Amber, I mean, Janelle... Wow. Oh, and Janelle got breast implants. Yes. We actually, yes. We, we mentioned that uh, on the day she got them, and uh, there's actually, there were pictures. Naked on, pictures. Yeah. But they were grayed out or whatever, blurred out. But, you know. Oh, that's because you didn't click on the other thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could have clicked on Yeah, because here. I'm not what you say I am. That's why I'm not clicking through. She's over 18 now, Ed. What doesn't, never mind. Uh, I knew her when she was 16, so it killed it. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so her boyfriend <laughs> leaked the pictures. I guess they're not. Remember, he did the thing right, where, right, right. Okay. yeah, that was actually kind of news and gossip. Uh, was it TMZ no, or was it Starcasm? Yes, TMZ. TMZ. TMZ reported. It actually showed Kiefer had written this poem for Janelle, and then he took a picture of it all ripped up, which mm -hmm. I thought was childish, but, you know, meaningful for him. And so, <clears throat> anyway, with the uh, other news and gossip, yeah, other news and gossip is that uh, coming up here, one of our favorite. A 16 and pregnant Alex. slash teen mom uh, uh, girls, Farah, mm -hmm. is going to be in town, actually. And so we are in the process of trying to secure an appearance here on AfterBuzz TV uh, with Farah. And so this is not an announcement. It is gossip <laughs> that, we're, that Ronnie Jr. media <laughs> approved of. Hello, Ad Bowling. And that sounds like somebody other than Ronnie Jr. media. <laughs> Well, based on your request, Ed, I, uh, yeah, yes, we have a team mom coming in, and it is Farah, and uh, I believe I did get final confirmation for that date. Ah. So we are on, Ed, baby. We that's, are on. And that's June 7th? 8th. 6th, baby, 6th. 6th, not 7th, not 8th, the 6th, June 6th, tune in, uh, if I remember right, 7 o'clock, and, um, and we're going to have uh, Farah in studio. I can hardly wait. Uh, oh. get your, I just, I'm get so your, excited. Yeah, get your <laughs> questions you ready. Ed. Uh, get your questions ready. It's going to be a nice uh, conversation. Uh, we'll be happy to hear enticing mm -hmm. uh, how, uh, how things are going Splendid. for Farah. <laughs> and, you know, that's going to be really honestly, one of the difficult things that we deal with is that everything we see on the shows is like old. You know, it already happened. Right. And then when we get news and gossip or whatever, it's like that's really exciting stuff because that's what's happening now. Right. And now we get to hear the real thing from the real person right yes. now. So it's gonna I know. Be I wonder if she's going to talk about her porn, uh, porn uh, new adventures that she's kind of involved in. She didn't in. have any porn adventures. I just, I just made stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> no, bad. did you see Ed's the, face? He's like, what? What? Where? I know. No, see, Ed I liked it. What, where. Ed was about it. About it. <laughs> uh-uh. I had Farrah's back. Farrah, when you come on the show, I had your back. We, we do, too. In theory. How about, stuff, the, how about said, predictions? No, we good? Predictions. Predictions. Let's, let's predict okay, away. Predictions. predictions. <laughs> oh my god, I, I do not want to hear Isabel's predictions. <laughs> it is going to be way off and out there based on something completely. Okay, so in the next, in the previous for the upcoming episode, because I am the host, so I'm keeping it on topic, <laughs> uh, we get to see a baby mama that unfortunately, bad news, somehow the baby daddy is. I love dies. how the drinking game is whenever he says baby mama, baby right, daddy. I love right, that. Anyways, right. back to you. Um, uh, and, you know, <laughs> yeah, my predictions, Ed. Yeah, oh my god, what's your I... prediction? <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. You know, I was going to say something nice. I was going to say, you ask Farrah out, and she says no. Oh, God. I am end. not available to ask Farrah out, okay, by the, the end, way. Say bye to people. You're going to get, see, you're going to get, see, you're going to get it. You're going to be in trouble. Anyway, uh, we want to say thank you. I say thank you. I don't know what Isabel is going to say. Maybe thank you. You know, she's so, like, rude. Rude? How do you say it? Rude? Uh, <clears throat> is that? How do you say rude? Rude. 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 <laughs> No, God. no. The, oh, the, the, the there's the a lady. The 16-year-old rude. Oh gosh. There's, anyway, we should probably end the show right now. <laughs> you know, my listeners know what I'm talking about. Yes, I hear the music. Are we ending it? Yeah, Isn't we are. End? We're trying. We're wrapping it up. <laughs> Just turn off his. This mic. is a wrap. Thank you for listening. As always, Thanks. iTunes, Amazon. On the way, real, we Apple like Ed. TV. Ed, you do a great recap for 16 and Pregnant. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Oh well, thank you we very do. much.
Thank you very much. That's not going to save you from the wrath, but that's okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, anyway, thank you to everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. Ed's the best. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.